Welcome to another video of the Suerte del Molino farm in the Arrocha Valley, Huelva province, state of Andalusia in Spain. Here we deal with the nature we find in ourselves and around us. And we try to make sense of it in a meaningful way. The flowers are out. We have received 30 millimeters of rain the last two weeks, just over an inch. That brings our total to 500 for the rain season, which has ended now, and which is about half of what the local people tell me they are used to. This is the swale on the western border of the property. It's also called the clay swale. A tremendous amount of clay came out of it. This clay swale is always good for a reference because the clay holds water extremely well. Very little rain, over 14 days and still some water at the bottom of the swale. There is very little topsoil in this area. It might be three to five centimeters. And the rest is clay. So what we have done, we have scraped all the topsoil from this almost meter and a half area placed it here on the left and then covered it with soil uh, with a clay so the inside of this sausage is topsoil and the outside is clay clay holds water extremely well it also holds nutrients and minerals extremely well the big detriment on the side of the clay is without moisture it becomes like a rock, almost impossible for even plants to penetrate. This is an olive, the manzanilla, eaten by the deer. Now it's caged. They have some corn and pumpkin and watermelon. To feed a deer, should they be hungry, but there's also a lot of rye here they can eat from. The rye producing its seed pots right now. So what we have done in this whole area, we made a hole fairly deep, just onto the top of the topsoil. In the clay, we will plant it, cover it, and then water it well. The reason why we keep the clay is because the clay holds the water. Once the temperature goes up to 45 degrees, we are unable to supply the needs of these plants. And then the clay should hold the water. This is the Andalusian pistachio. It doesn't produce any fruit or seeds. So plant it in the clay and what we have noticed is once they get through the clay, the root system, they actually grow extremely well. This swale is on the northern border. There is a small road here. It serves as entrance for the five neighbors. So about 10 to 15 vehicles per day because we are the only ones who live on the farm. All the other neighbors, they live in the village. Again, a lot of clay, Paulovnia, quite small. 
These Pavlovnias are much bigger and all of them are bigger in size on the same swale. In this area we have more sandy, sand and clay, a much different soil, so it's easier for the roots to develop. On this swale in the garden, we have filled the whole swale with manure, goat's manure, and worked some of them into the berm. And this is the Paulovnia. They were all planted exactly the same day. And this one already has more than one meter. It almost looks like the lemon tree is getting smaller by the day. Till next time. Goodbye.